Yo, welcome back to another banger of a tutorial with your boy. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I sample in Fruity Slicer. I'm not really going to be going in depth on the plugin because it's a really minimalistic, like basic plugin. Usually we go into like explaining every parameter and knob in the plugin, but this plugin is really basic. There's not really much to it. It's more just um, how you use it and um, what you use to sample. But yeah, before we get into it, make sure to check out the description. All my socials will be there. All the label socials will be there. Make sure to check on our website we're dropping kits like every week now we got a bunch of free kits for you guys as well check out the website for our merch and a bunch of other free goodies you can get make sure to join the discord as well uh we're going to be doing a bunch of like community events now we're streaming every week now we're doing like a feedback sunday type of deal where you can submit your music for free and we can give you guys some feedback and critique where we can and we also drop uh discount codes for our kits there as well so definitely go check that shit out but without further ado let's uh get into the video start off we got this sample from uh cymatics zodiac volume 2 cymatics always has these uh loops that just sound like samples and it's free and you can clear it so i don't want to go through the hassle of getting copyright striked or getting fucked over by some big boy record label so i'm going to be going with uh this congratulations sample from the uh, zodiac volume 2 like i said and this is how it sounds So to start off what you want to do is uh, you need to check what the BPM is of the sample. This one is 76 and you want to put your project file at that BPM. After that you can just open up Fruity Slicer and then just drag in the sample into Fruity Slicer. Once you drag it in you'll see there's a bunch of red lines which is pointless because it'll basically do like automatic chopping to your sample which never sounds good. So what I would do is I'd go to this blade tool over here. Uh, you can just click on it and then you can choose anything from uh, one sixth beat to just a normal beat. I usually just use the normal beat option. And as you can see, it chops it up into like equal parts for you to sample. And if you have like a MIDI keyboard, like I have an MPK3 mini that I fucking never use. I don't even know why I still have this fucking thing. You can actually play it out on either like the beat pads or the actual notes. But I'm just going to do it on my keyboard, my normal computer keyboard. So to start off, you can just kind of play around with your keyboard. See if you can find like a pattern you already missed with So just of playing with it, you can go through the sample and kind of just experiment with it to kind of get that feel, especially with this kind of vibe I'm going for, because it's going to be kind of like a J. Cole boom bap beat. So playing it out actually on the keyboard can kind of give it your own swing. But you can also go into your piano roll. And as you can see, it's uh, equally sliced, like I said, and it goes all the way from the first beat to the last beat. So to start off, I'll just control A and delete all these notes and then go back to Fruity Slicer. And uh, as you can hear, if I play it out, there's like these clicking noises. You hear on that beat 3 it kind of clicks at the start so the first thing you want to do is just drag up this attack slider you don't want to go too heavy with it because otherwise it's going to sound a bit like side chained in a way so i'd literally just drag it up like a little bit so that it gets rid of that like transient at the start Some other things you can do with Fruity Slicer, like I said, it's a really minimalistic plugin, um, but there's a few cool features you can use. This first slider is a pitch shift slider, so you can just pitch it down or up if you want to. And then there's a time stretch slider as well, which kind of just stretches out each chop. So you can really experiment with it. If you pull up the time shift slider, it'll kind of give it that swinging feel if you play it um, on time. But I'm just going to keep it at the normal 100% for now. So I'm just going to lay down that pattern that we played around with. Yeah. 
Okay, so we got the first two bars done uh, with these J. Cole beats. You don't really want to go crazy with the chops. That's why I kind of just started off with the normal sample and then kind of just repeated the chops after that. So I'm just going to copy this over and then I just want to try and experiment a bit with uh, the second half to try and give it a bit more variation uh, leading towards the end of the loop. Okay, so I'm messing with this chop so far. So after you got the chops that you want, uh, you can just go back to your channel rack and then you can just put free slicer on a mixer track and then you can just start adding effects to it. So to start off, I'm just gonna EQ out the low ends. And then I'm just gonna go straight into drums. So what I usually like to do is I'll take a live drum break like this. Uh, I got it off Kenny Beats Discord. He like recorded all these drums live in his studio and then processed it for us. Bless you, Kenny. So I just drag that in. I'll put the drums on its own mixer track, but I'd like to layer like my own kick on it, my own snare on it still. So this is kind of just like background texture to make the whole drum thing sound a bit more real, if that makes sense. So I'll just EQ out the kicks and maybe some of the hi-hats and then start adding on my own drums. Another cool thing you can do with Fruity Slicer is uh, you can actually click on a part, whichever chop you want, and uh, you can click on the reverse button over here, and it'll only reverse that chop. So once again, like I said, this plugin's not complicated, just play around with it. There's a bunch of small shit you can do that goes a long way. So it's really subtle, but um, like I said, this shit is just like how you do it. It's the small shit that kind of adds on to the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, next, let's add a kick. Holy fucking shit. Good lord. I think I'm just gonna add some perks to this real quick and then I'll get to a baseline. Let's get a base up in this beach. Okay, sweet. I think um, I'm done for the beat. I think I'm just gonna quickly speed run this arrangement real quick. So yeah, I think that's about it for the beat. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, really basic plugin. Just use the right samples, use the right drums, and try and not get fucked over by record labels. That's the main thing about sampling. But yeah, like I said, check the description for our website, all the socials, free goodies, all that good shit, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Listen.